to Thrive Tucson, sponsored by Vantage West, where I chat with small business owners to see what makes their company thrive. I'm your host, Carla Escamilla, and today I'm joined with Julie Raglan, Development Director at the historic Rialto Theater in Tucson. As a downtown fixture, Rialto staged an impressive comeback after almost being demolished in 1984, and now it's on pace to celebrate its 100th anniversary in 2020. Welcome to the show, Julie. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you, Carla, and thanks to Vantage West for this opportunity. Awesome. Let's talk about your background, how long you've been with Rialto, and how did you get in there? Sure. So I've been with the Rialto Theater Foundation for just over two years. I uh, have lived in Tucson, Arizona for 25 years. Uh, I am originally from the Midwest. I went to the University of Arizona and have a degree in anthropology. And after I graduated with the, that degree, I thought, what am I going to do next? Mm -hmm. And so I took the first job that looked interesting to me, which was at the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. And that launched my career into nonprofit work. And I've been working in the nonprofit industry ever since. So I've worked at various nonprofits. Um, most recently was at a at a national conservation nonprofit and wanted to get involved with my local community and the arts community and so the Rialto Theater Foundation was a great fit. Exactly, what a better place than the Rialto. Absolutely. As the development director, tell me, what is your job? What do you do? Sure, so as a development director, I oversee the uh, charitable giving program, so that includes our membership program, our capital campaign program, and our community outreach program. What are the most difficult situations that, that Rialto faces and how do you be able to overcome them? Sure. So the Rialto Theater is, is a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Not everyone knows that. Uh, and so we are charged with providing uh, a, a service for the Tucson community. So as a nonprofit, we bring uh, high quality entertainment, uh, diverse array of entertainment to the Tucson community. So um, in doing that, we now offer about 350 shows per year. So we program at the Rialto Theater, at our smaller venue, 191 Tool, in the Warehouse Arts District. And then we have a, a little bar that's next to the theater that we program as well. Uh, and so, you know, providing a, a diverse quantity of of acts and entertainment is mm -hmm. certainly a challenge, um, but we're very committed to that. So obviously serving the community is the priority, but how does a Rialto help the economic development of the, of the downtown area of the city of Tucson? Absolutely. So we did a study with the Eller College of Management last fall, a group of students there um, analyzed a bunch of our data, they talked to our patrons, and they talk to local businesses in and around downtown Tucson, and they estimate that our annual economic impact uh, is $11.26 million. So really, you know, the Rialto Theater is a, is a driving force, is a catalyst for the downtown revitalization happening, and, and provides um, a place, you know, for, for people to come. They spend money, they come out, they go to dinner, and so that helps boost the local economy in a, in a pretty significant way. How did the remodeling in 2004 helped for Rialto be able to provide this much entertainment for the community? So in 2004, the Rialto Theater Foundation was established. Mm -hmm. Before that, it was opened in the mid-1990s by a, a couple of gentlemen who wanted to see the theater reopened as a concert venue. But at that point, it didn't have air conditioning, it had swamp cooling, and, uh, and the acoustics were not great. And so a remodel was done at that time uh, to fix some of the acoustics and added, we added HVAC at that point and then some work on the lobby was done as well. So some, some minimal upgrades to allow it to be comfortable and, and functional as a concert venue. Has there been any remodeling between 2004 and now? There has not been any significant remodeling since then. So we've done some minor upgrades, but it's it's in need of some some significant upgrades. So And, and I know it, the 100th anniversary is coming, so what is being planned? Is it going to be changing some part of the theater? What is it going to be, the celebration? Yes. So to lead up to our 100th anniversary in 2020, we've launched a capital campaign. It's called I Rock the Rialto, and it's a million-dollar-plus campaign. Here's our, our visual for that. Uh, and so we've raised over two-thirds of our goal towards that campaign, and that will, will entail 
completely renovated, upgraded, and expanded restrooms. They'll be completely uh, accessible, ADA compliant, and so that's very exciting, and that renovation is happening this summer since we have some money in place for that already. And then uh, the next phase of that will be some upgrades to the auditorium. We're planning to tier the floor, which will allow us to be much more flexible in terms of the types of events we can do. We'll be able to put out tables, do table service, uh, provide um, a, a better situation for rentals for quinceañeras and weddings and, and corporate events, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll do a bar consolidation and concession consolidation mm -hmm. and some uh, safety upgrades to the balcony as well. Those are great news for the community and it sounds like it's going to just help Rialto go and also downtown Tucson. Um, but like you mentioned, the Rialto Foundation is a nonprofit. How do you handle the nonprofit, being able to still make money, be a business, you know, it, it's kind of like a fine line. Where does right. it come? There's a lot of balancing that happens. So we earn most of our revenue through earned income. So ticket sales, bar sales, um, those sorts of, of money generators. Uh, but as a nonprofit, we are always trying to increase the amount of revenue we're getting from our charitable endeavors. So we have a wonderful membership program. We have uh, seven membership levels that range from $30, very accessible, which gets you pre-sale ticket access and a dollar off drinks at all of our venues. All the way up to $2,500 golden ticket, which gets you two tickets to every single show wow. for an entire year, as well as a whole bunch of other great benefits like downtown parking and tickets to our annual gala and, and things like that. So that really helps. We have over a thousand members now. And then, you know, we do rely on other donations. So we have regular donation campaigns and we really rely on the community to come forward and, and help us continue to provide high quality entertainment. Um, how does uh, the Rialto work with the city of Tucson? Is there some kind of agreement to try and help uh, the development of Tucson's? Is there like something in particular? Well, we, we own our own building. Uh -huh. So um, when the Rialto Theater uh, foundation was established in 2004. It was part of the Rio Nuevo project, and so the Rio Nuevo owned our building. But okay. in 2015, um, with the help of a local bank, we were able to purchase our building, and so that's given us a lot of autonomy. That said, you know we work regularly with the city for our events. We have um, an easement in the alleyway, the Herbert Alley, just east of the theater, so that we can utilize that alleyway during events, and we uh, we can link our our venue with um, the R Bar, so that people can come, they can go over to the bar, get a craft cocktail, sit outside if they want, and then come back over to the theater. So we work regularly with the city. Julie, before we go, what advice do you give to anybody who wants to start a nonprofit or a business? What do you think it's the most important advice from your experience? Well, I think having a business plan in place is really important and to utilize the resources that we have in our community. Local banks like Vantage West can help small businesses get up and running. And uh, we've got some great other local resources like Startup Tucson and Local First Arizona that can provide all kinds of resources for people that are wanting to set up their business. But I think planning is really the key. Thank you so much for being with us and the best of luck. I can't wait to see I Rock the Rialto start coming to develop, especially this summer when you, you know all the, the new stuff is gonna start coming. So thank you so much for, for being with us tonight. Thanks again to you, Carla, and again to Vantage West. And to find out more information about the Rialto Theater, visit RialtoTheater.com. And if you want to donate to the Rialto's fundraiser, visit RialtoTheater.com forward slash rock the Rialto. This has been your business spotlight with Carla Camilla. See you next time.